Last week, Holloman held a retirement ceremony for the MQ-1 Predator. The aircraft is being replaced by the MQ-9 Reaper. The commander of the 6th Attack Squadron, Lieutenant Colonel Fukumoto, spoke on the legacy of the MQ-1. So I think the MQ-1 has really changed the way that the Air Force and airmen think about air power. When the MQ-1 came into service, it challenged those notions that we could provide effects over the battlefield without having airmen in that plane. It's, it's a system that we employ over the battlefield, and the airman is doing it from, from a place where they're safe. Lieutenant Colonel Fukumoto also gave his opinion on the MQ-1's impact over its lifespan. The impact that, that uh, we have had uh, in the MQ-1, the missions we've been able to fly, the troops we've been able to support, is much more fulfilling, and it really connects me to the whole reason why most of us signed up to serve our nation in the first place. It wasn't to fly jets, it wasn't to fly faster or high or, or anything like that. It was to serve a purpose for our nation. And I've been able to do that in the last 12 years in the MQ-1. Finally, Lieutenant Colonel Fukumoto told us about his excitement as the sixth transitions to the MQ-9. MQ-9 is really the, the big brother of the MQ-1. A lot of similarities between the two platforms, but it's more capable. It flies faster, it flies a little higher, it's got more weapons on board. So it provides more capability to the combatant commands. It provides more capability to support the ground forces. So I'm excited to, to transition our squadron to offer more, uh, more to the fight.